G'day folks, it's Phil from 15 Minute Guitar Practice here. In this video I'm going to show you how to play Juice by Lizzo. Now I've come across this track because I'm learning a bunch of tracks for a gig, this is one of them, and it's so cool and catchy I thought I would bring it to you. So we're going to jump into it into a second. Just want to say that actually I'm really happy that if you listen to the latest tracks from Beyonce, um, Doja Cat and Lizzo, you can hear that there's this almost this kind of resurgence of the 70s funky disco kind of vibe and um, that makes me super happy. It's just got a, a new modern twist on it. All right, let's jump in and see what Lizzo has for us. <laughs> Before we get started, if you want to replicate that low note that you hear in the second time round, that you will have to tune your E string down to a D, which is what I've done here. But for the gig, I'm not even going to bother doing that because it happens once in the entire song and I just don't want to mess with tuning. This song is five chords repeated and all the chops are centered around the D, the G, and the B string. And for the verses, it's just those five chords. For the chorus, those five chords are interspersed with the second guitar part, which play dyads in between some of the chords. So I'll show you the chords first, and then I'll show you those in-between bits. If there's two guitarists in your band, then you can divvy that up. Um, if there's just one of you, then you're going to have to try and get both those bits together. Okay, so chord number one. This is played on the fifth fret, so I'm playing five, five, six. There are a few ways to name this chord. Probably the truest is a D minor seven add eleven with no root. It's a rootless chord. The other is like a G9 sus4. This is probably the easiest way to think about it. Um, you're going to be familiar with a ninth chord, right? Ninth chords in blues. So I'm going to be calling this a G9 sus4. If we take our G9 chord, which is 10, 9, 10, 10, starting on the A string, a G9 is spelt in this voicing with one, three, flat seven, and nine. All we're gonna do is take that three and move it up one fret so it becomes a four. And you end up with this chord that's entirely played on one fret, the 10th fret. Um, but we don't play all those notes and we play it in this different position. So you can call it either, depending on where you visualize the root, but the true root is the D played by the bass. Next, we've got this chord. This is an F7 sus4, but we're not playing the root. The root is here on the A string at the eighth fret. So if you played it like a full bar chord, it would sound like that. But we're not playing the root. Again, we're just playing the D, the G, and the B string. So I'm playing 10, eight, and 11. Next, we move to just a standard F7. And this is a very common movement. If you have a sus4 chord in a song, it's very common for that sus4 then to resolve to the same chord, either a major or a minor version of it. So we're going from our F7 sus4 to our F7. So all that happens there is we move our pinky from 11 down to 10. Everything else stays the same. So for the F7, the root's here on the A string at the eighth fret, but we're not playing it. So I'm playing 10, eight, and 10. Then we hit this chord. This is a B flat major seven. Again, not playing the root though. I'm playing the seven, the three, and the five. And that's seven, seven, six. Okay. And then we hit to here. And our last chord in the sequence is a C7. But again, no root. I'm playing the, the flat seven, the three, 
and the 5. So those are our chords. A rootless D minor 7 at 11, or G9 sus 4, F7 sus 4, to F7, B major 7, B flat major 7, sorry, B flat major 7, to C7. That's the chops. Now, in the chorus, like I said, there's an extra couple of things that are played in between. The extra bits come here. So our first extra bit comes after our D minus 7 at 11, or G9 sus 4. Here. So I'm playing two notes, and I'm playing those notes on the G and the B string. I'm playing 10 G, sorry, 9 G and 8 B. And then I'm doing a double hammer on with third finger and the fourth finger simultaneously to bring them both down at the 10th fret on those very same strings. So I'm going. Okay. And if you can get some chuckers going on in between, like that's going to help the vibe. Then we do our F7 sus4 to F7. Then the next in between bit comes after our B flat major 7. And that is 5 on the G and B. And then hammering on again, a double hammer on with the second and the third finger. Second finger is hitting six. Third finger is hitting seven. And then you complete the chops as normal. So. And there you go. So that's all from me today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you want the tab, then you can grab that on Patreon. Give me a like, leave a comment below. And if you'd like to hear from more from me, please subscribe. I do appreciate the support. So this is Phil from 15 Minute Guitar Practice saying bye for now. Cheers.